everyone, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a video for you all about my hunt for a wedding dress and I talked about it before but the reason that this video is coming almost a month after we got married is because I wanted to be able to include actual footage of the dress and stuff and obviously I didn't want that to go out before the wedding day. I basically started looking for potential wedding dresses I feel like quite soon after we got engaged because it was like a really exciting and fun thing to do and I kind of knew the style that I wanted to go for but I'd never like tried on a wedding dress or really seriously thought about it so I spent ages researching the types of dresses that I thought would suit me just online and things and one of the first dresses that I landed on that I absolutely fell in love with was this one here. I'll chuck a few photos up. I think it was like the Penelope dress from Waters. While I was talking with the bridal studio to try and figure out like a time that I could make an appointment to go and see the dress, I was also trying to figure out how much the dress costs, which every time I asked them they would avoid the question and I kind of like understand now that that's just kind of how it goes in like the bridal studio world. They want you to like see the dress and try on the dress before they like just tell you how much it is. But for me the price was going to be a lot of my like decision factor. I wouldn't necessarily say that Nick and I had a budget wedding but we did have like budgets for certain like areas of our wedding that we wanted to spend like on decorations, on flowers and things like that and I also had like a section of budget for my wedding dress that I didn't want to spend thousands on a dress that I knew that I was only going to wear once. I ended up finding the Penelope dress on an Australian bridal website and when I kind of like converted the cost back to New Zealand it was unfortunately going to be like way more than I wanted to spend so that kind of broke my heart but I also had to like let that dream go because it wasn't even like close to the budget that I wanted to spend which is fair enough because it's a very like intricate and detailed dress so it's worth the cost that it was but it just wasn't for me. I then kind of went to the other end of the scale and I started looking on ASOS for uh, bridal gowns because I'd seen a couple people do like ASOS bridal wear videos and they had some really cool stuff so that's what I did so we are now throwing it back to September of 2017. Today is Wednesday the 20th of September 2017. I have been looking at wedding stuff already just to kind of see what I want. I started looking on ASOS just to see like what was out there, what kind of thing that I might be looking for and I found a really nice skirt which is kind of what I liked. I never really thought that I would have a wedding dress that wasn't a proper dress um, but because ASOS do free shipping and free returns I figured I may as well buy the skirt now. I've just peeked inside and seen something that looks sparkly, so I'm pretty excited. It looks pretty weird folded up, so let's get it out and see what it looks like. All right, so I am not even sure if I am in frame or if I'm focused, so if I am none of those things, then I do apologize. Um, but I'm wearing the skirt. I've also just put on this like lacy top from Topshop because it felt better than wearing my glory skater t-shirt that I've had on all day. But this is a skirt, it is exactly I guess like what I wanted in terms of the fabric and the flowiness. I wanted it to be relatively flowy but nothing like too massive because I am thinking about having something like tight on the top. Um, it is a little bit long and I'm not going to be wearing heels, I'm going to be wearing flats. So I wonder if I should just try it on with like a pair of shoes and see if that helps in any way. Um, but I didn't realise it had like these squiggles, if you can, I don't know if you've got to see that way, let me come in closer. I didn't realise it would have like these squiggles in amongst the sequins and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, and the skirts of the underlayer, I think the thing that I need to decide now is if it looks cheap or not. The more that I looked at the ASOS skirt, I didn't really like that the sequin parts on it shone a little bit yellow in some lights and that definitely wasn't the vibe that I was going for. So I ended up returning that and kind of like starting again with trying to look for potentially what I would want to wear on my wedding but it didn't take long before I found the next option. So today is Saturday the 11th of November 2017 and this afternoon I have my very first appointment at a bridal studio. Um, it is Sally Eagle Bridal here in Wellington and she has some really lovely designs. I've been following her for a while and I feel like they were the types of gowns that I would want to wear on my wedding day and on Thursday I saw that she'd uploaded an Instagram saying that she was having a sample sale uh, I guess like clearing out old stock to make room for new season stuff um, so she was having a sale on like off the rack dresses rather than the custom made ones that she also does and I mentioned it to my mum on Friday which was yesterday and just said that like I really wish her or my bridesmaids lived closest that I could go along and then before I knew it my mum and my dad had decided that they were going to drive like the six hours, six and a half hours uh, from where they live to Wellington's that they could come with me so I'm feeling very grateful to have such wonderful and amazing parents 
Um, I'm a little bit nervous about this afternoon because I just don't really know what to expect. I'm scared like I don't want to get my hopes up just in case I don't find anything I like or if the style that I would like to wear doesn't end up suiting me, I'm not sure. Alright, so it is the next day now and as expected I didn't film anything while I was in the bridal studio. I don't actually think I could, which also would have been a pretty big hindrance, but I was just completely focused on trying on the dresses and trying to decide if I felt like me in them and if I could like see myself wearing them uh, while I was getting married and things like that. Um, but the appointment was really lovely. We uh, had the appointment with the lady who owns the bridal studio, Sally, and she was just super nice and super down to earth she wasn't trying to like push us to or push me to buy one of her dresses she wasn't trying to like I don't know make us choose a really expensive dress or anything really like she would try the dress on and give her opinion and give her feedback but also just like step back and let us or like me and my parents uh, talk about if we liked it and things like that. I tried on a couple of dresses um, that were really really nice but just for various different reasons um, I just decided that I didn't want to go with them and I tried on one that it was the first dress that I'd seen when I walked into the bridal studio and I really liked it on the uh, mannequin and then I did end up trying it on and I really ended up liking it so I actually bought it so now I have my wedding dress like 14 months in advance which is a bit insane but um, it was too good of an opportunity to not get it and I absolutely love it. I woke up this morning still smiling thinking about it. I do need to still do a bit of alterations for it. There's one little mark on it because it was a sample dress um, that I can very easily get out. I'm not too worried about that. Um, the only real issue with it is the length. Right now it's way too long. Um, I think even if I was wearing heels it would be too long. So um, they have just told me to come back like or make an appointment at least like six months out from the wedding or maybe even less time than that just so they can take the hem up for me and then it will fit so yeah I'm really excited now um, that I have that dress I can start visualizing other things in terms of like how I really want to do like my hair and my makeup and what kind of jewelry I want to wear. The stars definitely aligned for me to get that wedding dress and also for me to get it at the price that I did. It was everything that I wanted in a wedding dress and on the wedding day as well a little bit of a spoiler but I felt really pretty in it which I think is super important and I just had such a good time dancing the night away. It was super comfortable, super easy to like move around and sit in and I was just so in love with that wedding dress. The dress has ever so slightly 1920s vibes which we'll see in a second so once we had that I knew that I wanted to then look for a pair of brogues and the kind of like jewellery that I wanted to look for um, but yeah the shoe thing was basically from the get-go I knew that I didn't want to wear heels to the wedding because I wanted to be able to feel comfortable all night and dance the night away and just not have to worry about my feet or my shoes restricting me. So these are the shoes that I am going to be wearing on my wedding day. This lighting is a bit funny let me see if I can you can kind of see that they're like a rose gold metallic -y color. I'm not sure if that's completely picking up on camera. Maybe the laces are showing that uh, more than the actual shoes. But yeah, they're like a really nice rose gold copper, which is everything that I didn't know that I wanted. I've been looking for a pair of brogues for the wedding because I thought they would be like a nice kind of flat shoe to wear. Um, and these I actually got from the warehouse, which is like a bargain store here in New Zealand. They're only $25, so I was pretty stoked about that. Um, they're super comfortable as well. I just saw them by chance when I was in the warehouse looking for something else. And um, I've tried them on with the dress, and I think they look really cool. You're not even really going to be able to see them, but I still wanted to wear something nice. To go along with my rose gold shoes, I also bought this rose gold purse of ASOS. So if you put them together, you can definitely see that they're not the same rose gold colour, but I think they're close enough. And as I said, you're not going to be able to see my shoes anyway. And it's not like I'm going to be carrying around this all night. So I think it's fine. Um, but this has almost got like a quilted pattern on it. Um, it's just a plain little clutch. I just wanted something that I'd be able to store uh, like my phone and, you know, like lipstick and things in on the day. So yeah, those are my two accessories. I still need to buy a pair of socks to wear with these shoes as well but yeah so far those are my two rose gold purchases. In terms of jewellery I went for rose gold earrings as well so I just had a pair of like cupid zirconia studs and then also a pair of dangly earrings that were rose gold that had a little heart on them with a little like pearl on them as well. I also didn't wear anything on my wrists I just wore these like rings that I always have um but annoyingly I don't know if you'll be able to see it now not really You're, no not really but I didn't realize that I have a watch tan because I never tan anyway I'm always just like this white so one of my favorite photos from the day which I'll insert in here you can see that I very obviously have 
a watch tan, which is kind of embarrassing, but I might just see if the photographer can like Photoshop that so that you can't see that as much. My parents also very kindly for my 26th birthday in 2018, they bought me a pearl necklace because I'd mentioned to them that I was looking for a pearl necklace to wear on my wedding day. So it was really kind. They let me go and like pick out the one that I wanted that was going to look the best with my dress. And then I was able to wear that, which was really cool. So the next couple clips you are going to see is my hair trial and then also my makeup trial a week later. And when I have my makeup trial, I also try on my dress. So watch those clips and enjoy. Today is Friday the 28th of December 2018 and I have just had my hair trial, which is why my hair is up. Um, I was supposed to have my makeup trial at the same time, but um, the girls that are doing it, they weren't free on the same day. So I've got my makeup trial next week. So I'll show you that uh when that happens i'll chuck up the inspo shots that i gave the hairdresser just here but basically i said that i wanted uh to have some kind of braids in my hair and i also wanted baby's breath or gypsophila the flower those two things because when my mum got married to my dad she had uh, her hair in braids and she had baby's breath in it which i thought was really cool and i kind of wanted to like carry that traditional whatever it is on um also we are having baby's breath in a lot of our flowers like at the ceremony and stuff anyway so it's going to match um so there's a few little changes that i do want to make to this on the day but i figured i might just like do a bit of a 360 and let you at least just see what my hair is like i don't have any flowers in it right now but um as you'll see when i turn around there's like braids and then the baby's breath will kind of like almost form like a crown at the back of my head around the braids as well so let me see if i can do this because i'm having to like bend it in an awkward angle hopefully you can see this this feels a bit weird for me but yeah i really like the back of it i think i just want to have these pieces up a bit as well because i don't know i feel like it looks potentially a little bit unfinished but yeah i'm really really happy with it i can't wait to see what my makeup trial looks like hey guys so today is the 7th of january 2019 and i have just had my makeup trial and as you can see i'm actually wearing my wedding dress so today i can finally show you kind of what i'll be looking like on the wedding day obviously my hair will not be up like this but as you would have seen in a clip before that's how i'm gonna have my hair i just needed to get it off my face uh to do my makeup so this is my wedding dress obviously this is from sally eagle bridal as you would have seen like way back in 2017 when I went to that appointment. This dress is called the Audrey dress after Audrey Hepburn. Uh, I really loved the pearl detailing on the top. I love the little bow on the shoulder. And this is kind of what I wanted in terms of the skirt just being quite flowy. I didn't want anything super tight. And I didn't think I wanted anything like super puffy either. So yeah, I'm really happy with this dress. I really love the back detailing as well, which you would have just seen. The color of the dress is also an ivory color. It's not just plain white, which I also think for my skin tone definitely looks a little bit better because I'm quite pale and pasty. So I thought a white dress might not look super good. So yeah, everything about this dress, I actually love it. And by the time you see this, I would have already worn it to get married. But for me, I'm getting married like next week. So I'm really excited to wear this. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching the story of how I came to find my beautiful wedding dress, which I still love so much. And I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to get to wear it again. Um, but yeah, that is my wedding dress story. Keep your eyes peeled for a video all about Nick's and my wedding uh, coming as soon as we have the photos back from the photographer. Uh, I hope you'll have a really great week and I'll see you all later on. Bye.